It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer today. We've got a beer from Overtone Brewing Company. It's a New England IPA coming in at 6.6% ABV. Uh, now the part where you'll have to excuse me. Now we're diddly. It's a... I thought originally it was kind of like, how you doing? That sort of thing in Scotland. But it actually... No, you didn't. It's like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. So they brewed the beer. Um, I had to have a look at the side of this can just to get the kind of translation sorted and realise why it was called this beer. So they brewed the beer with mango, guava and passion fruit. So when they when, when they say, no, you didn't. He? Overtone Brewing replied with, aye, we did. So kind of like, you didn't, you didn't, you, you brewed the beer with mango, guava and passion fruit. Ah, we did. So it's like a, a Scottish, strong Glasgow accent that... Bit of to and fro in with the, with the classic Glasgow accent. Um, I'm going to say straight away with this beer. I am very, very... Well, I'm slightly sceptical. I'm slightly sceptical when it comes to brewing beer with actual guava and actual grapefruit. And what was the other one? Mango, guava and passion fruit. It's actually so mango, guava and passion fruit. I'd much prefer it if a brewery actually used hops to recreate those flavours. I will give this an independent review, as I always do, but I'm just giving you my two pence worth before we get started here. Um, the reason for people to really get excited about New England IPAs in the first place is that they go, wow, this has got mango in or guava or passion fruit. And the brewer goes, no, it's all hops. And that's, a mag that's the magic of a New England IPA. That's the magic of real American style IPAs for me. When brewers start chucking in adjuncts, so this is an adjunct beer, you know, normal kind of passion fruits and, and mango and guava, then for me, you lose a little bit of shine you lose a little bit of that magic for why it's a New England IPA in the first place. But I can only rule on what I have in my hand. It is independent beer review. Uh, we have a, we had a one finger white head as we started. I was talking for a bit there, so it's dissipated a little bit. Um, light straw coloured beer. A little bit of haze in there. Did I mention the ABV? It's 6.6% ABV. In a 440 milliliter can. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, see, that's the difference straight away. That is the difference straight away. Normally, with an overtone beer, I'm like, oh my goodness me, the aroma is fantastic. And that's because hops replicate that guava, passion fruit, mango. It kind of magnifies the aroma and the taste at the same time. Rather, when I see a beer with adjuncts in, the aroma is always a lot less. There's less of an aroma, more of a flavour. And I'm getting that in this beer here. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, so loads. Oof. Tons of passion fruit, tons of, tons of guava. Tons of mango in the flavor. Literally like making my eyes crunch up and, and do all those kind of wow 
really good flavours. But you also get a, a natural fruit aftertaste, a natural fruit kind of... It's very hard to explain, like a, like a twang, like a... Um, It's not a bitterness on the back end. There's a little bit of sweetness. It's like, um, almost like a, 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 a fruit earthiness. Like, it's like, almost like a dulling, almost like a, like a, it's a longing flavor that continues. It's continuing right now, continues and continues and continues. And it's very difficult to get away from. Um, I would personally, I've only ever sung the praises of Overtone before now. I've only ever stood back and, and stood back and marveled at the fantastic creations that they've brewed. They brew some terrific beers. But please. Overtone Brewing Company, don't turn into Tiny Rebel, please, I, 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 I beg you, I beg you, please don't turn into one of these adjunct forward breweries that all you're using, uh, it starts off this way, I was there, I was there in 2012 when Tiny Rebel launched and they were using all the hops under the sun and everybody was raving about their beer and then they made it and then when a brewery makes it, when a brewery makes it and when a brewery's got a fantastic reputation, they seem to go, ah, okay, job done and then they start bringing out kind of fruit beers and and adjunct beers and and hazelnut flavorings and chocolate flavorings and and then it, it's just a, a steady decline trust me trust me overtone brewing company it's a steady decline from the top hopefully overtone brewing company you can kill this series you can kill it dead stone dead Because I don't mind standing in front of the camera here saying this is the worst beer that you've produced to date. I've only ever said great, I've only ever said in the past great things about Overtone Brewing Company. Only ever said wonderful things about their beers. Mind you, there's a lot of sediment. Look at all that. Now, I'm a wonderful believer of gravity. That's all going to be... Look at the sediment. Can you see the sediment? That's all kind of fruit sediments and whatnot. This is this is going to be a turbocharged taste now of guava, passion fruit, and mango. Yeah, oh yeah. I get it. I'm not a stupid person, I get it. I understand that hops are expensive. And I understand that you probably spent an absolute fortune getting your brewery to where it is today. Where everybody's talking about your beers. But in order to stay at the very top, you have to use top end ingredients. You really do. I am just not a fan I am not a fan of these fruit juice beers. I, I really am not. It's a corner cutting exercise as far as I'm concerned because using real fruit juices is cheaper than using hops. Remember where you come from, Overton Brewing Company. Remember how difficult it was to get to where you are today. 
and then remember and then look at tiny rebel look at tiny rebel where they are now they're almost um i see tiny rebel now it's almost like a they just I, I just don't take them seriously anymore not not with their all of their adjunct fruit chocolatey vanilla ice cream 99 they made a beer called 99 imperial stout and, and apparently i never tried it apparently it was terrible um they just went down the road of adjuncts cheap ingredients and I, I i can't see them returning to their former glory i just can't see them getting to where they want today even they were even attacked by a, a a rather large um female beer blogger recently the big the beginning of 2021 um they come under a lot of flack because apparently a lot of their beers were um induendo in induendos induendo whatever they're called um I mean, I'm not going to get into that now, but um, it should—it just shows you the 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 fall from grace if you start producing passion fruit and and mango and guava fruit beers like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. If I, if I want to drink fruit juice, I'll go down Asda and I'll buy a carton of fruit juice. Um, I want a real beer, so this is a four out of ten. Four out of ten. Um, Hopefully that was a blip. Hopefully Overtone can get back brewing beers where I shout 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. But for now, this one's a 4 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.